this threaded barrel by Sonser Co. And also the iProtec flashlight that I did a review on last time. This is going to be more of an update. I guess you guys can consider this as like a, as like a part 2. But this is definitely going to be an update to, um, to the results of the barrel and the flashlight. Um, it might be a good thing or a bad thing. To me, it's mostly more of a bad thing. But that's why I'm doing a review now. So you guys will have an idea of what I'm talking about. Okay guys, I'm going to be doing a quick review on, like I, like I mentioned a second ago, the light and the barrel. Um, here's the magazine, and then here's the gun, so you guys can see that it's cleared. Try fire. Okay. Um, I'm going to start off with the, with the flashlight first. Okay, so... I've shot with this light like I think three, four times already. I don't really go to the range a whole lot. As you see, it still works. Um, just like I mentioned in my last review of this light, when I shot it about almost a hundred rounds, the light started slowly to, you know, it won't, it would turn off because the the lid would slowly turn, you know, would turn loose. Which is no problem because I would just turn the lid back and it would just turn on like normal. But that's not the main problem. The main problem is, I don't know if you guys can see, you see that little hole right there? That's where the pin was to hold the uh, spring for this light. That spring, okay I'm going to take this off so you guys know what I'm talking about. That spring belong inside this inside underneath here and then the pin will go inside to hold this down and that spring was the basic to hold tension so this part right here can go inside this little dent or whatever um yeah I guess you could say that the light is technically kind of broken I tried putting it back together myself, but I couldn't because it was like really hard. It was like impossible. So I guess I can get it to a professional to put it together, or I'll just leave it like this. So I found that there is a way to kind of bypass this problem. Is that I can put this, I can still mount it onto my gun, like I did just a second ago. But the only problem is with that that spring, that little thing will. You know, it will have no tension and it will not go into that little dent that I was talking about. So that means this can still kind of slide around. I put it on and I tried to like, try to sliding around and it actually took a lot of strength to be able to move this. As if I put it on really tight, it will stay on there pretty good. So, I'm going to try to take this to the range again. Maybe next week or a couple of weeks later, I'm gonna try to see if the uh, the recoil will make this light loose or go fly off. You know, so I can f make my final decision of you know about this. Um, I mean, it's still a, it's a fine light for home defense, like I said. But I do plan on to maybe get like a stream light later in the future. But, yeah, again, this, this is a cheap light. It was like 25 or $30, I think. Um, I can't remember what I said last time. I think I said 50 but I'm not sure. But, yeah, but it still works, you know what I mean? So, I, I guess I kind of bypassed the problem. It still powers on. You know, it can still mount onto the gun. I can still use it. <clears throat> well, anyways, um... Yeah, so that's my thought on this. Now I want to move on to the barrel. Okay. Now this barrel. Um. I shot it at the range. The barrel, it, you know, it worked fine. This did come kind of loose, like very, just like a little bit. But I would, I would just always tighten it after when I'm done shooting all my bullets from my magazine. And I would just re-tighten it normally. But, um, so I shot it, and at the, le like, I shot it about almost 100 rounds, and 
you know, after you know how after you shoot your last bullet, this slide will lock back like this. It was weird because when I was getting close to finish, I was on my last three magazines. I used a Glock Factory magazine, a uh, Glock Factory Extended magazine, and then the the Magpul P Mag magazines. I was shooting those, and this slide it would not lock back after the last round. So I thought, oh crap! I was like, oh crap! I have a malfunction. So I went tap. Bang. And well obviously I tapped and racked and it stayed racked because the magazine was still in the gun and it you know what I mean? So it was still in the gun so this rack locked back. But I thought it was kinda weird it didn't lock back when I uh when I fired my last round. So that was pretty weird. So I don't really know if that's considered as a, as a like a true malfunction or what. So I called one of the um the uh, range officers, you know, ask them to shoot it for me with their magazine and with, with their own bullet see and what happens. For them, the slide locked back, but as they got closer to finishing, the slide would not lock back on the last round. And their they thought the in their they thought in their opinion they think that maybe the barrel was just too new and that it was probably not fully broken in yet. So I thought that was pretty weird. Um, so I don't know if that's really, cons this is really considered as a true malfunction, but it was pretty scary because, because I, I thought maybe a bullet got stuck in there, so I don't know if it's going to, just going to go bang on me if I try to like unload and rack it, but Ooh. I still did it anyways. Um, but yeah, so this, that's my thought on this barrel. Uh, but other than that, it, it shot fine. I didn't have any malfunctions like the stove pipe or, or the bullet, you know, like f failure to feed. I didn't have any of those issues. The only issue I had was this slide would not lock back. So, so I don't know if any of you guys have a Sancho Cotter barrel. Maybe you guys can leave a comment. Let me know if you guys had similar issues. So this way I would know if this is considered normal or not. But I'm definitely going to go back to the range again and see if it does the same exact thing. But like I said, the, the only time when the lock started to not, sl the slide started to not um, lock back was when I was on my last three magazines. And this was about after about 30 minutes of shooting. So, yeah. Um... So that's all I have to say, so if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe.